Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are okay. So for today's video, we're just gonna be exploring around Sofia again. We are currently at this lion bridge here. So this bridge has four lions. So lions are a symbol of uh, Bulgaria because apparently they fought a lot of their invaders off so lions are brave lions are like strong so it's part of their symbol this bridge is a 19th, 19th century bridge so looks amazing it reminds me of the iron bridge in um, Hungary actually Alright, so we just passed through this um, farmer's market. It looks, the vegetable looks very big. They're massive, even the fruits. And everything's very cheap. It's very busy at the moment because it's Sunday, so everyone's doing their shopping. Just look at that. Very cheap. And the vegetables are massive. The fruits. Amazing. <laughs> Next one. Peaches. Right, that's the farmer's market. It got a bit chaotic there because there's a lot of like sellers. But yeah, the products are really amazing. They're like massive. And you can really smell all the like ripe fruits. It smells really good. All right. all right, so we're now in the synagogue. Bulga or Sophia's biggest synagogue here. Oh my god. We had to go through security, very tight security. Alright, we just got out of the synagogue. It was beautiful inside. And yeah, very ornate. A lot of like frescoes on the walls. Oh, this is the central market that's closed at the moment. The one, the building in front of me. So that's the one there. Central market. Alright, we're in this square again with the Banya Banshi Mosque with that side and the Sofia History Museum on over that side. Alright, let's see if we can go inside the mosque. Okay, so that was the Banyabashi Mosque. 
less hassle to go in. It was very beautiful inside. And free. And free. Women just have to cover up like the whole scarves thing. But they yeah, provide the shoes off. And take obviously the shoes off before entering the mosque. But they provide the shawl, is that what you call yeah. them? The coverings for women if um, well, they need to cover up. So yeah, let's see. So we're here at the Sardika station, which is that way. So the this building behind me is the Pedka Church. So it's one of those church that was built during the Ottoman um, occupation or invasion. So it was only allowed to be built because it is a meter like underground so all like other places of worship can be built if it's like a meter underground so let's see if we can go inside right unfortunately it is closed so better luck next time <laughs> we'll try again in the afternoon and see if they're open so that was saint sophia's church it looks massive from the outside the red brick church or red brick building so that's also in the coat of arms of Bulgaria it looks massive from the inside as well it's very spacious we can't really stay very long inside because there's like an event happening as well Okay, so that's the Alec Saint Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. So unfortunately, you have to pay to take pictures or videos inside. So it's around 35 lev to take pictures and then around 50 lev to take videos when you're inside. There you go. It's a bit expensive, but inside was amazing. Although the the frescoes on the walls and the ceilings, they're a bit dark already, probably from the um, accumulation of dirt and soot over time but yeah it looks amazing it has that uh, Hagia Sophia vibe to it because of the dome uh, roof inside but yeah it looks amazing amazing and very ornate inside so there you go so they have this domes roof thingy apparently the main dome or the biggest dome is coated in 24 carats gold I know very extravagant and the small domes are coated in 22 carats gold I'm not sure if it's coated or like actual real gold solid gold but there you go all right so we're here at another location and another park they have they seem to have a lot of parks in here so the building behind me this one is the Church of St. Nicholas the Miracle Maker and it seems to be closed. It's a 1914 church, Russian Orthodox church with um, gilded domes. Very colorful actually. But it's a shame it's closed. It looks very beautiful from the outside. Okay, so that was the Sveta Nedelia church. It's in, it's an Orthodox church. As you can see, it was very ornate inside, very beautiful. So we, um, from the last video I showed in there, there was an event happening. That's why we couldn't stay very long. So yeah, so we have to, we visited again today. 
just to explore inside a bit more. So we're just walking through this Vitosha Boulevard where there's a lot of like shops and restaurants and bars on both sides and you can see the Vitosha mountain from that side as well it looks very busy I think this is like the go-to place if you want to just hang out because yeah everyone seems to be here there's a lot of people walking around in the shops and in the cafes and restaurants okay so we're now here at another park just after the Vitosha Boulevard and then there's like a fountain feature here as well behind me and that building there is the National Culture Building it was quite noisy around that area because of the water fountain Hi. very huge park and they have the lion monument on that side as well a very tiny lion sorry I keep getting that building's name wrong it's the National Palace of Culture that very like massive building over there okay so we're now headed towards the National Palace of Culture the one the building like that building there okay so we're now close to the National Palace of Culture and there's amazing fountain in front of it so this one holds like a lot of huge events like concerts and ex exhibitions we're now here at the Vitosha Boulevard not Vishota it's still kind of busy I think it's dinner time <laughs> a lot more people Right. Now is the challenge to find somewhere to eat. Although we kind of like got this uh, booklet from the tour guide yesterday where they recommend a few restaurants that you can try. So th this is one of them. So we'll look at the menu and see if we like them. Alright, so we just finished with our dinner. It was really nice. The food was really nice. And it was very cheap as well. Well, the currency here in Bulgaria is cheap. Lev is like half a pound. One lev is like 50 pence. So everything is kind of cheap. But the portion is also really good. So good value for money. And also it started raining, so we were safe inside the restaurant. So that so that was a good choice for us yeah but what do you think yeah it was good I think we paid about 25 27 quid for two main meals a starter and two beers yeah it's good really good value for money so I think I'm gonna end this video here so if you like this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and if you haven't yet please don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is all underscore Chan and on my Facebook page which is Kawal, Kawal underscore Travels right, we need to cross and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and stay tuned thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video bye